I love drawing. I, I don't know how to make that as clear as possible. I really love it. It has given me so many gifts. Discipline, perseverance, self-awareness, compassion. It's helped me get through grief and loss. And art making can do that because art making is a vehicle for self-transformation. And it allows you, amazingly, to share that transformation with others. But it's not the end product that transforms the artist. It's the act of doing it. It's the act of making the art. Just last year, of all things, automated art hit the scene with products like Midjourney, OpenAI's DALI, and Stable Diffusion by Stability AI. These are text-to-image models, so they take input from the user in the form of a natural language prompt, like you're seeing right there. And then there's a complicated process, and they return an image that matches that prompt. It, it, it automates art. It automates art. It's exactly what you think it is. You type in some words, and a picture comes out. Ooh, great, nice, good. No, that's good. You know, I, I have to admit, I did not see that one coming. What are we going to do when, within these tailored content streams, we can't tell what was made by a person and what was made by a machine. After a while, would you even keep trying to figure it out? Wouldn't you just start to assume that everything was made by a machine? That's a bad day for everyone, not just for artists. Is that the world that you want to live in? We as a society and machine learning as an industry need to establish the legal and ethical groundwork that is going to govern all emerging systems of this sort. If we don't, if we allow the appropriation of everybody's creative work for the benefit of technology that is just going to turn around and compete directly against them in their very markets, we are going to do untold damage to the vigor and energy that people have for their work. To think that every time you share your creativity, you are tacitly complying with your own replacement? This is a suffocating atmosphere to ask artists to live in. And it's clear that they won't. I hear it from the students. I get messages from them every day sharing their disbelief and discouragement with these developments. They worry that they're going to teach an AI system their style before they've had a chance to do anything good with it in the first place. I wish I could tell them that that wasn't going to happen. So they're retracting. They're hiding away. They're not posting their work online. They're going into closed communities. They're moving behind paywalls. This is pretty antithetical to the spirit of art as we know it.